that former Cruiserweight champion Neville had gotten out of his WWE contract almost a year after he walked out on the company. Alex Pawlowski, of course, is joining me on this show. I didn't give him a proper introduction, but <laughs> Alex, I would imagine you're you're quite happy about this considering he hadn't existed on WWE programming for quite some time. Well, I mean, yes. Uh, the, ideally, I would have liked him to have never walked out or whatever or left. I mean, to be fair, you are more of a WWE guy. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, like, I, I'm going to love watching him wherever. But there was so much unfinished business. I mean, he, he, I mean, he still is the greatest champ in the history of, of 205 Live, of this Cruiserweight division. I think a lot of the speculation is that uh, he had reached a ceiling there and there was nowhere for him to go. And a guy like Neville uh, believes, and I agree with him, that he can fight with, he can fight the big boys anytime he wants. Uh, and, um, he certainly has the opportunity, he would have the opportunity elsewhere to not be judged by the fact that he's less than 205 pounds. But here, that's not the case. At least it isn't with anybody except for like Finn Balor. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think, it, I mean, if he's happy, that's where I want. But selfishly, uh, I, we didn't we didn't get to see like great feuds um, on um, in, in 205 Live. Like this version of 205 Live that really, honestly, probably only could possibly exist after Neville left it, which is kind of ironic. Um, I want to see him fight on this 205 Live versus Buddy Murphy and this new and improved Mustafa Ali and Hideo Itami. Let him come. Like I was still waiting for that thing where he just came back and said, I want my title back and fought Cedric Alexander or something. But WWE tried real – they did try real hard with 205 yeah. Live. They anchored it to two or three different guys, and it just so happened that the two that got over the most either screwed up, mm -hmm. put themselves in bad positions, or walked out. You, you also had Austin Aries, who didn't want to be there. Right. You had Rich Swan, who they tried to push, and things happened. Yep. 2017 was a rough year for them trying to push this. It really, really was. And, I mean, imagine how this show would be right now with, with a Leo Rush coming in, but you've got Swan, Aries, Neville, Enzo. Yeah. It's, it's unfortunate. They had their cupboards completely emptied. Uh, again, I don't think this version of 205 Live, that the people who love it, love it. Um, I don't think that exists if Enzo's still there. That's, that's they, a good point. They wouldn't have said, okay, Enzo's gone. Uh, he was the champion. He's not the champion anymore. He's gone. We're going to have this fire tournament leading up to a match at WrestleMania to crown a new Cruiserweight champ. And then every week, Tuesday nights at 10, the main event's going to be must-see TV. Like that, I don't think any of that exists if we're still doing the Enzo train where he comes out and does shtick every Tuesday. Like that's that's wouldn't still happen. So I think it's... All in all, I think I can't wait to see where Neville goes from here, like what, what his path, his career takes, because that guy is insanely talented, and I'm going to be keeping tabs on him wherever he goes. So tonight had some pretty weird – well, before we get into that, yeah, it's been teased by Cody and the Young Bucks, Marty Skrull, saying, we miss Neville – Posing mm -hmm. with pictures of his action figure. Neville is a big signing for Ring of Honor New Japan. They can pull that off. Ring of Honor were hoping, at least people within the company, were hoping they would get Matt Riddle. That didn't happen. WDB snatched him up because they, they didn't want Ring of Honor New Japan to get Matt Riddle. Being in the junior heavyweight division in New Japan mm -hmm. isn't like the cruiserweight no. Division in WWE, they are on the main shows, they are on the pay per views, they are on all all kinds of stuff. They have their own tournament. Mm -hmm. You have that Ring of Honor. He is immediately if he goes in there, ROH title contender. Bam, him and Jay Lethal book it. Yeah, do it. There you go. Neville's one of the best in the universe. Yep. And with him, you never know who can come with him because he's got a lot of uh, positive clout within the industry. He is well liked. He really yeah. is. Despite all this, I mean, I, I've heard, I don't hear wrestlers trashing him. 
And that, that is not something that happens a lot. Usually they find that people I talk to can find something negative to say. 